Hi, this is Justin Kahn from the Decatur Herald and Review here at St. Teresa High School where tonight St. Teresa defeated Riverton 50-38 to in the finals of the Team Soy St. Teresa Holiday Tournament. Uh, last year Riverton beat St. Teresa in, in this championship game of this tournament and also knocked the Bulldogs out of regionals. So this meant a lot to St. Teresa to, to win this game and Christian Williams was probably the best I've seen him play personally. I, I just talked to Tom Noonan. He says he's seen Christian play better, but I haven't. He, he had 27 points, which tied a career high. He had 13 rebounds. Uh, it just really just dominated the game. I think when, when you watch Christian play, you, you know that he's capable of this, and when you see him actually do it, it it's pretty satisfying to watch because he just has all the, the ability in the world to, to do pretty much anything he wants on a basketball court. You know, he, he, can, he can shoot the ball, he can rebound, he gets a lot of steals on defense, set up his teammates a couple times when the defense started really focusing on him. Um, he, he had two dunks in the first quarter of this game. The first came on a, after a steal on a breakaway. Uh, Jordan Lakaitis uh, hit him on an alley-oop that was probably the best thing I've seen in a Decatur basketball game uh, since Jeremy Robinson and, and Lewis Jackson were playing Eisenhower. It, it was it was pretty spectacular, and not maybe another minute or two later, uh, he had a steal and, and went out on a breakaway and, and flushed one down one-handed that was also pretty impressive. And, and just, he just had it all working. It, not necessarily his outside shot, but he had, you know, just taking the ball to the lane and, you know, hitting it off glass. He did a really nice job at that. Had a couple lefty layups that were really pretty. It was just a great night for him and uh, a great night for the Bulldogs in general. They, their 2-3 defense did a good job on Riverton. Uh, Riverton's top player, uh, Ledoux, got in a little foul trouble. He, he had a nice night, but uh, he couldn't really guard late, and St. Teresa was able to take advantage of that as well. St. Teresa will likely, or at least I won't say likely, but could face Riverton in the regional finals or at some, at some point in the regionals. Uh, they're in the same regional, so uh, definitely kind of intriguing there with, with what, what, could, what you know, could come with these two teams. Again, the final score in the championship game of the St. Teresa Team Soy Holiday Tournament was 50-38, to St. Teresa defeating Riverton. In the third place game, uh, it came down to a really exciting stretch of basketball. Uh, Hayworth led Cerro Gordo Bement, uh, I believe by uh, a couple points, by three points late. Connor Gross uh, got the ball on the wing, pump faked and hit a three-pointer to tie the game. Then Hayworth turned it over. Uh, Cerro Gordo called a timeout, had one last shot at it. Uh, Gross got the ball. Uh, it didn't look pretty. He looks like he, he looked like he lost it maybe on the way up a little bit, and um, but he gathered it and, and threw up a, a kind of a running shot at the buzzer, hit it to give Cerro Gordo the 73-71 win against Hayworth and gave them third place in the tournament. Um, it, it was uh, impressive by Gross, who had 25 in the game, and uh, you know tonight we saw two of the better players in the county here uh, with Connor Gross from Cerro Gordo in a third place game and and Christian Williams, of course, from St. Teresa in, in the championship game. So a lot of good basketball here at St. Teresa this weekend. It just means that we're developing. Uh, that's our big thing right now is uh, Riverton. They're, they're a strong program. They've got great basketball tradition. It just shows that we're developing. And I thought our guys did a good job making adjustments, uh, listening to scout report, and I, I thought we did a decent job of getting to their shooters out of our zone. Last year they, they came to our place, beat us in this tournament, then beat us again in regionals, and we just wanted to get revenge, and we did. Yeah, this means a lot. You know, they knocked us out of regionals last year. They beat us on our home floor, and that was, uh, that was the emphasis tonight is to not get beat on our home floor again. Uh, we started playing their tempo, uh, taking some bad shots, and we realized we needed, if, if we didn't adjust tempo right away, it might get out of hand. They're that good of a team. Uh, so we went to that zone, and, and, and our guys did a good job of getting to shooters and talking, communicating. And then I thought John Radley and Christian Williams did a great job rebounding that second half. They did.